The heavy duty bar is going to be great because you can build on them with whatever you're going to haul. So you're going to throw a kayak up here, you get kayak carriers that slide in the tracks. There's also accessories you can get sell, sold separately with the HD bars. Like if you want to haul a ladder, there's going to be load stops that you can install in the track. There's ratchet straps, eyelets that you can use in combination to strap things down on the top. There's a lot of options out there to look for to make it custom for whatever you want to throw up here. This is going to be a permanent install, so you are going to have to drill holes to install these tracks. But the nice thing is, you see how it sits here on the camper shell. It looks factory, it looks sleek. You can even remove the bars if you don't want them up here all the time. You can take off the end cap, push the buttons on the inside, release it, and put a cap on the bases here and leave them on there. So I like that just in case for whatever reason you don't want to leave them up there. You can throw them in the back of the truck when you're not using them. It also slides along this track so it's not like it's to these fixed points. You don't have to worry about leaving the bars and not being able to adjust them. You can slide them all along this track to adjust whatever you want to carry on top. A few different options on our website for these bars. We have the 65 inch bars. You can also get them in 59 inches if you want shorter bars. Maybe you don't need this much overhang. You can also get them in silver. So if that matches your camper shell or if you just like that style better, those options are out there. Let's check out the install. As you can see, we got it set up. There's a little bit of math and measurements to go to get this right because you want to make sure you drill the right holes the first time. You don't have to do it a second time and try and cover up any mistakes. So we use painter's tape. We made sure we got the rail center on the camper shell and the furthest out we can get it. They recommend that in the install. Now every camper shell is going to be a little bit different. So your measurements aren't going to be the same as ours. You're going to have to have different things to make sure it is square. So we made sure we lined up the back. We measured from the tail light to each side to make sure they were equally spaced. We came in the front, measured that too to make sure it was square up there. Made sure we looked at it from the ladders and a bunch of different angles. It looks good and set in place where it is right now. So I think we're ready for the next step. Looking at the rails, we got them spaced out. We did make some markings to know where we're going to want to drill our holes. So we went 15 millimeters in from the end, and from that point, it's going to be 280 millimeters each time all the way back up to the front. Now, when you do go to drill, every camper shell has a gel coating. You don't want to just straight up drill through that. That could spider web crack on the top, and you don't want that. So I suggest using a countersink. That's going to make a little divot first. And then we'll once that makes that space, then you can drill through and not worry about cracking anything on top of your camera shell. Setting our bar in place, measuring it, making sure we got it right where we want it, front and back. We came here with the painter's tape, laid that down, and then used a pencil to do an outline exactly where the bar is going to sit, and that's on the back side and the front side for all this. Also, make a little mark for the center of the bar. That way, you know where to set that up. And then we're going to slide the bar back. We'll add another piece of painter's tape, but we're gonna use the bar as a straight edge to make that line once we get it lined up with the center on the front and the back. Come along with a pencil, draw a line, and since you're using this as a straight edge, it's gonna be a straight line all the way to the front. Then come back where we made the marks on our rails and make another hash mark, and that's gonna tell you exactly where you need to drill. After I make each hole, I'm gonna go ahead and come back with the vacuum cleaner and clean up our spot. Now we're gonna come back with the drill and drill our hole after the countersink has opened up that spot for us. Now it's pretty much repeat that process for the next few holes. Now we're gonna peel back the tape to get it out of the way. We'll do that in the front and the back as well. I'm gonna rip it off to about here so I can still line up this portion with the end of the bar. We got the marking already there. Now we're gonna come back with our butyl tape squares and we're gonna put those over each one of the holes. That way it helps seal it up. So you just peel one off of the backing and stick it right over the hole. and you'll peel off that other backing as well. Flipping the rail over, let's pull off our protective part to our pads. Just to get a good grip, and we set this into place. Now we're gonna take our T-bolts and the little rubber O-rings, we'll put that on there. We're gonna slide these all in the track. Now the last one and the first one don't have the O-rings because of the rubber end cap. So 
so don't worry about those. I'm gonna slide these in the middle and get those lined up. Now we'll put in our rubber end caps of our T-Track bolt, run through the hole here in the end cap and then slide it onto our rails. Make sure that the T-Track, you push it, all, or the T-bolt goes all the way down towards the bottom so it can slide in between the rail and the rubber and you can just slide that into place like that. You make sure you slide these ends inside the rail so that it sits right there. Now we'll flip our rail around and line up our bolts with the holes. Now we got the hard part out of the way. We got the rails installed. It's time to do some assembly on the roof bars themselves. Let's get to it. First, we're gonna assemble the foot that slides into the HD bars. Now there's two different kits you can get. You can also get the aero bars too, but we're going with HD today because it's gonna work with our camper shell and what we're throwing on top of it. So first off, let's go to the foot. This one's already put together. So this is how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna grab this, the foot itself, put the plate on top, make sure you match that hole right there. We're gonna run our bolt with our lock washer and a regular washer, flat washer on top of that. Run that up through, and then we're gonna install a plate on top, and this is gonna what helps it slide into the bottom of the HD bars. So we'll get that loosely started. Just like that. Now we flip the HD bar upside down. I can slide the plate into place, make sure it's facing the right way so it doesn't pop right back out like that. There we go. Now we know when we tighten down, it's gonna stay in that track. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Now we'll flip the bar over and add a rubber strip up top. It's easiest to line up one side, push it in, and then push it down on the opposite side. Then you'll see there'll be a little bit of overhang. Go ahead and just cut that at the end of the bar. Then we can put our cap on the end. Now we'll put our end cap on, just slides into place. Now we're gonna put our base in the track. So here's the widened part here. You push the first one down. It goes in there and then you can push down on the second one because you don't have to worry about the end cap is rubber, so don't worry about breaking anything. It slides in like that. With included Allen key, we tighten down the base right where we want them. Now this setup, they plan on putting a fishing kayak on the roof, so we're going to get it as far back as we can, so we just went towards the end. Now I'm going to drop the roof rack rail into place. Set it down in the channel, and then we can adjust the side to side on the bar itself. Something to make sure is that the red pins are pushed in, because that's gonna put these portions in so it goes down into the base, because once it's set into place, we push out on it, and that's what's gonna lock it in. So now I can't pop it back out. Make sure you measure your overhang on each side. Now it's gonna depend on your camper shell. Everyone's different, but what we did is we measured from the foot here, to the end of the bar, it's 10 inches on both sides just to make sure it was even. Now we can go ahead and tighten it down. So we'll use that Allen key. And this part can be a little tricky. The bolt's right under here under the foot. So it's gonna take a little bit of patience, but not too bad to tighten it down. Now we got it tightened down. We're gonna add our end cap on, get the key, lock it up, and you're done. Overall, I like this system. I like the way it looks on the camper shell. It is a little intimidating with the install. Even I was reading the instructions, a little worried about drilling through the camper shell and getting those spider webs or ruining anything, but it wasn't that bad after getting all the math done and getting everything set up right. Got these mounted, it was easy after that. The end result I think is worth it. Just again, factory looking, the bars are sleek, or the rails are sleek, sorry, but it looks good on here. And I like that it's a track system so I can slide the bars back and forth so I can adjust to whatever I wanna load up on here and it's not stuck on fixed points. It's got the built-in locks so that I don't have to worry about anybody messing with this when I'm not around. Each one of these is locked up. And if I want, don't want the bars on there, I can pop them off easily without using any tools. Just use those pinch points to release both sides, put the caps on top. It's great, I really like that. 
and then the accessories as well. I can kind of build whatever, whatever I want to haul most of the time. If I need specific things to tie those down, I can get those accessories, slide them in the track, and have them ready to go too. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helped.